The President's West Wing. You're the president. Get to work. Uh... You know, president stuff. They're in charge of the executive branch. Uh... Okay, well, to be president, you're gonna spend most of your time... Uh... Okay, you're supposed to know this. The legislative branch makes the laws. And then it's up to the executive branch to enforce those laws. Like cops. Cops enforce laws for the state and local government. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? The president leads numerous agencies that carry out the nation's laws. Important topics such as immigration, taxation, defense. Wait a second, the FBI is one of those agencies. Which means the president is like Robocop. Your move, creep. Now we are not going to look at every agency the president's in charge of because that would kill people. Uh, this is the fifth grade version of this chart and like people are already tuning out. No, 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 no. We can't do that. I can't have the bad reviews, people telling me in my face, hey, you're boring. I don't have the self-esteem for that kind of rejection, okay? All right, so let's keep this short. Let's just look at the greatest hits, the things you really need to know. So the president is going to do most of his or her work from... More specifically, the West Wing of the White House. You know, you've heard of the Oval Office and stuff. The White House office. These are the people right next to the president all the time. The aides that oversee the political and policy interests of the president. The president can hire anyone they want for the White House office. And they can accept their resignation, wink wink, or fire them whenever they see fit. The chief of staff is a very important position in the White House office. They set the president's schedule, they readjust it based on need, and they are very powerful because they control access to the president. The press secretary is in charge of dispersing the president's message to the press, and then defending the president's actions to the press, trying to make the president look as good as possible. The executive office of the president, EOP. You down with EOP? The executive office of the president is the staff that provides support to help the president govern effectively. The president picks someone they want for the job, they nominate them. The senate has to confirm this person before they are officially hired, but the president can fire at their discretion. The office of management and budget, which primarily helps the president finalize his budget he's going to propose to congress. The national security council's job is to keep America safe. The President gets advice from the Secretary of State, the Secretary of Defense, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, maybe the VP, some policy experts on certain regions as needed. The Cabinet. Exactly. The Cabinet is the heads of the 15 executive departments. The secretaries or head of these departments are nominated by the President, confirmed by the Senate, and can be fired at the President's discretion. All important. But, the ones you hear about the most would be Department of State, Defense, Treasury, and Justice. Now these cabinets have numerous agencies working within their framework. There are often numerous departments and agencies working together on the same goal, like stopping human trafficking. Independent Agencies Independent agencies are those agencies that exist outside of the federal departments. The President still nominates officials in high positions and the Senate has to confirm them. But presidents usually cannot fire these individuals. We'll go into more detail later, but these agencies have powers that the president cannot control. Now, president, don't be sad. You're still RoboCop. You're still in charge of enforcing the laws. You know where you live. In fact, the president gets to pick their own management style. The pyramid style 
is one in which decision-making powers are concentrated at the top. Much like a pyramid. Chief of Staff is very powerful in this style, although they do answer directly to the President. The circular style, or the hub and spoke, is the style in which the President is central in most decision making. The President is very involved making decisions daily, and this often wears them out. They can't continue like this for four years. The ad hoc style is one in which the President utilizes committees, task force, and special advisors to develop and implement policy. At first glance it seems like circular, but there's less spokes, there's less groups the president's relying on, they don't have to be as involved. There you have it, a little insight into the executive powers of the president and what they do in that beautiful White House. Well I'm gonna go, it's time for me to decide if I want to watch Bad Boys or Robocop. Oh, they're both so good, this is tough.